what is going on as you can see we have our bucket full of shiners here some of them are dying but that's okay i didn't have a bubble on them i'm actually going to feed the pool pond and the 200 gallon and um this is going to start the training process for the peacock bass so i'll show you guys what happens when we drop these live boys in the pond it's going to be crazy Okay guys, we have made it outside with our bucket full of shiners and our pond full of monsters. Let's see what's on. Oh, there's our giant right there. All right, let's see what happens. We drop a fat live one in. You ready? Oh boy, this is gonna be epic. I'm gonna grab a handful of them and throw them in. Let's see if I can get a bunch of reaction strikes. Look at them, they're all lined up and ready. Oh, whoa. Shiners <laughs> like this one. But as you can see, these dead shiners get, well, he's not even dead. He's still breathing. He's gonna get eight like nothing though. Wow. <laughs> Guys, this is fun. This is fun. All right, so this one looks like he was dying. Let's see who's gonna get him. Big bass right there. You ready, buddy? Matter of fact, let me let me feed the peacock. Oh, that was crazy. All right, this is a fatty right here. Let's throw this one in. We're gonna see if we can try to feed some other fish. Who else is in here? Let's see. I'm gonna toss them out here and see what happens. Oh, oh. There's our peacock. Oh, he's right here. He's ready. He's ready. He's ready. Oh, got him. Throw a couple in there and just watch him swimming to see what happens. Oh, big bass. Now, everybody's not going too ham today. They were recently fed yesterday afternoon. But even though they're not going ham right now, oh, they're still going to eat. Especially this guy, he just doesn't stop. <laughs> he just doesn't stop. Ugh. Let's see. Who else is here? Who else is here? There's a bunch of fish in here, but the larger fish don't really give them a chance to eat. So we just gonna throw them out. Oh, that was epic. Nice hit. Throw this one out here. Gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Little peacock got him. Big bass, again, I know you're still hungry. Boom. Just like that. Okay, we got one of our giant peacocks that just start eating. Okay, all right, training process has started. One of the giant peacocks has started eating the shiners and he was just placed in here, what, a couple days ago? Finally. Finally, the blind self got one. Had to steal it, but he got one. Oh, man. He's definitely hungry. If he could just come out just a little bit more and get this dead one right here. Oh, he's going to get it. 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 First time coming out and eating for the camera right here. You got it, buddy. You got it. You got it. Got it. Got him.
god, who is that? <laughs> Alright guys, so we just made it to predatory fins. Topic of the day, hybrid peacock bass. My boy Rod tells me he has some peacock bass, Azul and Tamensis. For those who don't know, Azul peacock bass is the blue peacock bass. Tamensis is the largest peacock bass species there is. Now, how do you get those two to crossbreed? I'm not sure. Apparently, they're doing it in China. And supposedly, Rod's, Rod has a few of these hybrids to go check out. So we're going to see what they're really looking like. If they are real hybrids, we might leave with one. But while we're here, of course, we're going to tour everything. We got Gus from the bait store with us today. We got E with Icy Blue Charters. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to take a look and see what Rodrigo has today. First thing you see when you walk into predatory fins is this massive. Oh, what's going on? Oh, he's in the office. Oh, hold on one second. Right. Tank is massive. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> guys, tune in. Sneak peek of what Rodrigo has going on. He said that he almost died at this moment. So guys, tune in to Predatory Fit in the next video. <laughs> Died again. <laughs> That's a good size. That's a good size, bro. Holy crap. Bro. That's a that's a good size peacock. Yeah. That is crazy. crazy. Guys, bro. That is crazy. That is sick, bro. You guys know I love peacocks. I am a peacock fanatic. Guys. This is crazy. Guys, this is absolutely crazy. This is a pleasure just to be standing in front of this fish. Supposedly, shout out to Joey Slayum and the guy that caught him. These guys caught this in South Florida and one of the canals apparently. This is crazy as wild, bro. But well, let's take a look at what else Rodrigo has. So far, this is the most epic thing. I love this peacock. Look at that, bro. Bro, look at the colors on that thing. Look at the yellows, the blacks. Look at the black on the fin, the yellow on the tail. And then he has red gills like any other peacock. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Let's see what else he has. These are the, what is it, Tamensis? Tamensis, uh, Arenos is the two bit lighter one. There's one there, one on top. But these are wild caught and I'm just looking at it right now and I see like, Parasites on them. You see it right there by the by the fin. Yeah. So. No, but I'm fine. Man, it's like goons. That's cool. Uh, goons catfish. True. Amazon monster. Gotta watch Got our white, step. A white rip saw. Oh, that's cool. White rip saw. Of course, you got the black melanistic. So. I'm looking at the peacock bass and I'm not gonna say they're not hybrids because they are showing some traits of hybridism. But I think what I'll do is I'll wait for these peacock bass to grow out a little bit more and then I'll come back and maybe I'll pick one up. As of right now, I'm not too sure on what's gonna look like what when it gets bigger. So I'm gonna wait and see if they'll fool in a little bit more and then I'll come back and I'll pick one out. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got time. Okay, that noise. Is that a glass bottle? Really? Can't get over this peacock. Can't get over this platinum peacock, man. This thing is absolutely beautiful right now. They said his eyes were orange when he first came in, and I guess they kind of changed to the uh, substrate of the tank. But guys, this fish is absolutely amazing. Shout out to Joey Slate. So we're gonna wrap it up here. That was a little fish tour of predatory fins. As you can see, there's a lot of work going on, going on right now at predatory fins. There's pipes everywhere, there's stands everywhere. Behind us, there's a bunch of 75 gallon tanks that are going up. It's crazy out here. So we're gonna wrap it up here. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Peacock Bash.